Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at a tip for transforming columns in Power Query when the command is not available in the ribbon. So it turns out that the ribbon commands up here are just a way of automatically creating M code formulas for us that you can see in the formula bar here. And it also turns out that there are a lot of available formulas in M code that aren't available in the commands up here. So one that I use all the time is to pad text values with a given number of characters. And so what you might end up doing is going to the add column tab and creating a custom column. And then we can use that formula in our custom column. And so that's the text dot pad start formula. And we're going to pad our ID column here. And we're going to give it a total of six characters. And we're going to pad it with a zero. And when we press OK, then that's going to create a new column. And you can see that our ID has a total of six characters, uh, starting with zeros up until our actual ID number. And then once you've got that custom column, what you might end up doing is deleting the original. So let's right click on that and remove it. And then maybe you rename this to your ID column. And then change that to a text column. And maybe you also reorder it to be at the start. And then what you end up with is several steps just for adding padding to that column. So here we have one, two, three, four, five extra steps just to pad that column with zeros. Now instead, what we're going to do is let's just right click on this add custom column step and let's delete that until the end and get rid of all those extra, extra steps. And you'll notice that if I select some column and go up to the transform tab and let's just use any of these number transformations. So let's just multiply our amount by one and press OK. Then you'll see that we get one step here. And what happens is we're using table.transform columns on our transformation steps. And we're transforming the amount column here. And then we're applying this formula here on that column. And so what it does is transform this column in one single step. And we can actually use that table.transform columns on our ID column here. And instead of this simple formula multiplying by one, what we're going to do is use the text.padStart function instead. So let's just edit this formula. And instead of the amount column, we're going to act on the ID column. And this underscore here is a variable that represents this amount value in each row. So we're going to keep that. And we're going to use text dot pad start on our underscore variable, which represents our ID column now. Again, we're going to do six characters in total. And again, we're going to do a zero character. And I'm just going to delete this times one. And instead of a number, that should be a text. Let's try that out. And you can see that now we have our ID function and it's been transformed so that we have those padded zeros at the start of our ID. And we've managed to do that in a single step now. And of course, this we use the multiplied column. And so it's named the step as multiplied columns. But we can right click and go to properties. And let's just change that to something 
more sensible, like pad ID and press OK. And there we go. We've got our ID column padded using the text.padStart function, which is not available in the transform tab up here in our ribbon, but we can still use the table.transformColumns function with it to create our transformation in a single step. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.